Hi friends, I'm Jess and welcome to the Hex Library where today will be my TBR for the month of May. I know I don't normally do TBRs but I have quite a few readathons that I'm doing this month and so I figured might as well tell you what the readathons are about give you some information on where to find them and also an idea of what I'm reading. Also, isn't this journal gorgeous? It's blackout pages so I can only use like gel pens on it. So it has been relegated to a like video planning journal. But boy, she pretty. First thing is May Chaos Rain season two, Queen's Clash. That's what it's called. I have an entire spread for it in my planner. I have several pages of <laughs> readathon things this month because I have doing so many. Uh, so May Chaos Rain is technically um, not just a reading readathon challenge. It's an all month long uh, challenge of uh, writing, reading, watching, self care, and making prompts. Um, you can do like one team or the other team or you can do one teams and then do the other teams prompts there's like small bingo boards large bingo boards of course I went with the largest bingo board and I'm going to try to do both teams challenges so I am on sky team this year and the reading prompt for sky team is sky word or image on the cover and for that I will be reading a sky beyond the storm by Sabbath here this is the fourth and final book in the Ember Nash's trilogy. Nope, quadrilogy. Um, four books is quadrilogy. Three is a trilogy, Jessica. Get your act together. Um, so I'll be reading this first for the challenge, not first altogether. Um, and then the other C Team's challenge is to read a book with a C word or image on the cover. And so if I make it to C Team's challenges, I will be reading Title by Amanda Hawking because obvious reasons. It's got C on it title is title yada 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 okay cool next book I'll also be doing escape the readathon which is the entire month of May also um, we don't know what the prompts are yet they're not going to give us our prompts until Monday morning um, which is the first I will link both the announcement videos for the May Chaos Reign if you're an author tuber which is pretty much what that one is geared more to um, that one will be down below if you are just a reader and you want to join the escape the readathon challenge it is essentially four teams who are being locked in a haunted house together and you pick a team and your team wins points based off of how many books you read and then once your team hits so many points you'll get two prompts and then you have to read for those prompts but you don't know which prompt is the one that's going to get you to escape from the room that you're in and you have to go through four rooms it's an escape room readathon my friends it sounds fantastic i'm very excited and again that um announcement video will be linked down below if you want to join in the other readathon that i'll be doing in the month of may is the final book support group um, it is a long weekend, so it's Friday the 26th through May the 29th, which is a holiday here in the States. I'm actually off for that holiday. I have a three-day weekend. Um, so I went ahead and did a spread for that as well. It's this side of the page here. Um, so we have a bingo board that has some prompts on it. Uh, my TBR for that, I put title on there as well as Elegy, which is the second book to that. A Sky Beyond the Storm is in there, Not a Drop to Drink, and In a Handful of Dust, which are by... Uh, Mindy McGinnis, which I don't have, but I do have one of Mindy's books right here. It's signed. I got it a couple weeks ago when I met her in person at my local bookstore. And then also Witch Volume 13, which is this one. Which Volume 13, because one of the challenges is to read a graphic novel. The prompts for the final book support group, uh, this time we're trying to read either continue or finish series so that's why all of those books I just named are parts of series. The Not A Drop Drink and In A Handful of Dust is a complete duology. That's what those are. Next um, there also will be a TBR jar pick that will be in the TBR takedown video. I know what it is because I've already filmed that but you don't know what that is yet so there'll be a video or a, a book from that also. I'm literally just standing here with two books like and a third one on the on the desk. I have problems it's fine. Group books. So my group book for the local bookstores book club is The Phone Booth at the Edge of the World. This is 
uh, by Laura and Mai Messina. It is set in Japan where there was well, based off of a story from Japan where there is a phone booth at the end of this mountain or the edge of this mountain it's not connected to anything where people go and talk to their loved ones who have are deceased um so that I'll be reading this is translated from Italian we're reading translated novels this year it's messy over here just don't look at it okay the next one is for um Somber Honey's reading challenge which I'll link in the description box down below if you want to look into that it's a monthly challenge and they're very interesting challenges so in May the challenge is to read a book with the same initials as you, um, which my initials are JW and that's never gonna happen. The author of Her Majesty's Royal Coven is Juno Dawson and those are the same as my YA pen name. So my YA pen name initials are JD. So that's what I went with. And then for AuthorTube chat this month, we are reading The Princess Bride, which is here on my desk somewhere. Um, this is a reread for me. I've already read it before. I've been watching the movie my entire life because it came out the year I was born. So we'll be reading The Princess Bride by William Goldman. So that's also on the list. Other end books on the list include The Hollow Boy by Jonathan Straub. That's the third book in the Lockwood & Co series because it came up on my audiobook loan came up. So that one we're going to do. Also, it is time to get to the next Brandon Sanderson book, which happens to be The Final Empire. Are you seeing a world where I'm going to read all of these this month? No, but here we are. There's also two um, new releases coming out this month that I want to get to. One, I definitely have already purchased the audiobook. I've already pre-ordered the audiobook and that is The Golden Frog Games by Clarabelle Ortega, which is a follow-up to last year's Witchlings. And then the other is The Sun and the Star by Rick Riordan. And I think this is the one that he's co-writing and I don't remember who the co-writer is because I am a horrible human being. The cover will be up here so you can see it. And then if I have time, I have three arcs that I'm behind on currently, which are Witchful Thinking, Never Ever Getting Back Together by Sophie Gonzalez and What You Gonna Do. I don't know what the two which ones who they're by but I've read all of Sophie Gonzalez's books so I know her name. It's in my brain. Okay that's it. That's the TBR. I don't even know how many books that is. I don't want to know how many books that is. You tell me. I've got that going for me. I've got this going for me. That's what you want to call it. So if you made it this far into the video because I'm going to kill myself with books this month I'll leave a skull emoji in the comment section down below so that I know that you made it here. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And other than I will see you guys next time. Bye!